Hi guys, it's Blackie, and if it's Friday, it's Down and Dirty Woods Craft. Stay with me. Hi guys, okay, today we're going to talk about something that's really important this year, and that's ticks. I'm hearing from a lot of people how ticks seem to have just bloomed this year for whatever reason, and it seems to go in cycles where you'll have really bad mosquitoes one year, really bad ticks, whatever. And I'm sure that there's some insect person out there that can explain why all these events are happening. But the bottom line is these things are just bad everywhere. I was at a camp out not long ago and me and several friends were camping and had not seen a single tick all weekend. And in that last night we were sitting there and they were just coming out of the grass by the thousands. You couldn't, you know, you would sit and pick every tick off of you, and then five minutes later, you'd have ten more ticks on. It's like the ground was just seething with them. We moved around trying to get away from them, but there had been no indication of that point. So, I want to share a little bit of wisdom with you about ticks. Now, okay, first and foremost, your clothing is your first defense. Now, one of the primary operating procedures of ticks is they're going to live in the leaf and it cluttering, the grass and etc. And they're waiting for you to walk by and stop close enough where they can crawl up, get a hold of a boot or something, and climb up onto you. This is how they get onto deer and etc. They also will come out on the end of limbs of low bushes and things and wait for something to go by and brush where they can leap onto them or drop down on them from a low limb, things like that. So those are their operating procedures. So it isn't just, just look at the ground because it may appear to be at eye level coming off a tree or bushes to end up on you. So, it's one of the reasons I like a broad brim hat to go through the woods. Less chance of them getting into my hair, okay? The shirt, I should have some sort of neck covering to seal up around my neck. A uh, handkerchief or something that cinches up pretty good. Preferably one that I have treated with insect repellent and then put around my neck to make this opening a little more closed up. My sleeves I have rolled up, but I've kept them at about elbow length. I am more likely to feel one on me on my arm down here than up here in this part of my arm. So that's the reason I'm limiting their access. A t-shirt or something that is tucked into my pants would be an advantage. I like these open shirts like this because I live in such a hot environment. When I walk, I want it to fan with me. but I, in really bad tick situations, I would just go ahead and put on a t-shirt. Something that was clinging to me tightly and limit their access to me. I don't want them to be able to come up under my belt, up under this open, and get directly onto me at the belt line. You won't notice that so much and they'll get attached. Be around behind your back or along your kidneys or something like that. Now, pants. Let me adjust the camera and we'll talk about that. Okay. I wear a pair of good heavy boots. I wear a big thick sock that comes way on up my shin. On the outside of this sock, I will spray my insect repellent. When I put it on, I'm going to the field. I like these old military pants, but you can do the same thing with just civilian pants. The military pants have a cinch cord at the bottom where you can close it up tighter. You can also simply stick it down inside, and what I like to do is this. Pull the pants tight, push and then fold it over, and shove all of that into your boot to keep it snug. Because as that tick comes up, he's going to hit here, and rather than going down, he's going to continue up on the outside. Up here on the top of the pants is a good place here to treat from the knee down, with bug repellent to keep them from wanting to stay on me. I want them to jump off now, not like to be on me. Some guys in such severe conditions actually will take duct tape and go around backwards so that the sticky side is out to act like a glue trap and catch them when they try to crawl up. That works as well. So, in conclusion, use some sort of good repellent. Now, what kind of repellent? Treating your outdoor clothes with permethrin is a great advantage. That will dispel insects, ticks, and etc. from you. You can also treat it onto pieces of gear like your hammocks and stuff like that. Ch 
check it first. Make sure, due to nylons, and I don't know what kind of material your hammock is made out of, check it in a spot that you can keep an eye on real close, like just make sure before it eats or makes a problem, you know. I don't know of any hammocks that's gonna be destroyed by it, but as sure as I say, go ahead and do it like I've done my hammocks for years, you'll spread onto your uber expensive hammock and it'll dissolve right in front of your face, so I don't know. So check with the manufacturer and see if it's okay to put permethrin onto it, but it does make a difference to keep insects off of it. Now what about you, the people that just can't do well with bug spray? You react to it or whatever. Well, you gotta find something else. And the good news is today there are a lot of insect repellents that are not like deep woods off and stuff like that, that are available mass market, that are some sort of natural oil or whatever that is a natural repellent. Usually that's all I need to use. Now, part of my family worked in the woods for years as putt wooders. And the number one thing that my uncle liked to use for ticks and insects to keep them off of him, Vix Vapor Rub. He would take and put it around the top of his socks, like I said, to limit the, the ticks and things access. He'd put it around on the inside of the collar to help him keep them from going down. He'd smear a little on his hand and put it on his face. The camphor is what the insects don't like, and so you could also use camphor for this, but the idea is the same. He didn't do well with things like um, deep woods off and stuff like that. He reacted to it. So he went to using something like this as a more relatively more natural type repellent and it seemed to work well for him. You've got to find what works well for you. There is no you know, rubber stamp, here's the perfect solution. If it was, the US military would have done it. But if you look at the US military because they've got to focus on this. You cannot have your troopers getting out there and catching Lyme disease left and right. So the U.S. government has issued out several different pamphlets on ticks and uh, mosquito-borne illnesses and stuff like that. And you can find those online. I recommend you find them and read them and get the idea of what the government is doing to try to prepare their soldiers to work in such environments. It's one of those things you don't need to be terrified of, but you need to be aware of because it can give you Lyme disease and other problems that will cause you pr trouble down the line. And that's something nobody wants. Hope you enjoy this, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And do me a favor, hit that like, share, and subscribe button before you go. Till next time, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.